Hello everyone, thank you for joining me around the fireside tonight. My name is Joe, and I'm here to tell you a story. A story to try and bring a little bit of joy into these strange and turbulent times we are living in. A story written by a talented author poet bringing a different perspective to the lockdown. A story celebrating some of the joys and the courage that perhaps may get overlooked with all the negativity currently going on. I am happy to present A Cat's Eye View of Lockdown by Octavia Lonergan. As always, please don't forget to like, follow and subscribe to Tales by the Fireside. Every interaction truly does mean the world to this channel. Now please, get comfortable, let go of the daylight and join me for our story. Cat's Eye View of Lockdown by Octavia Lonergan One bright April morning, not so far from here, one cat, then another, started to appear. First, there was Ozzy, a black and white boy. Then Tibby the Tabby, with her favourite toy. A tiny pink mouse that she took everywhere. Just don't try to take it, as Tibby won't share. Then followed Leo, all ginger and fluffy. Fond of a play fight, he'd often look scruffy. They strolled to the roof of a garage nearby, curled up in the sunshine beneath a blue sky. Last but not least, little Mimi seemed tense, a tortoiseshell beauty, she sat on the fence. Hey everybody, does anyone know why humans seem to have nowhere to go? I don't like it guys, it's too busy at home. When they're all in the way, it's time for a roam. I like to sit on my man human's computer, but now for the small one, he's being a tutor. The one they call Granny would normally visit. Now she's just on the telly. That's not normal, is it? The small one will talk to her face on the screen. It's like she's famous. You know what I mean? My lady human, she cuts people's hair. But right now she can't as there's nobody there. I like that as now I get lots more attention. More stroking and snuggles. It helps with her tension. So I see myself as a therapy cat. I love being loved. And what's wrong with that? It's really quite strange. I don't understand. My humans aren't doing the things that they've planned. My man human says he's going to paint all the ceilings and walls. Well, I'll tell you, he ain't. I saw on the telly a man has been walking for hundreds of miles in his garden. They're talking about all the wonderful money he's raised to help out the doctors. I'm really amazed. He looks to be older than the others I've seen. They say that he's just had a card from the Queen. One thing I've noticed, each Thursday at 8, they all disappear for a moment. It's great. The house to myself for a short while is nice, but all of the clapping scares off any mice. And now my man-human is teaching there too about painting and baking and writing things too. They seem really happy, they're all having fun, and mummy joins in when her work is done. She talks to her friends in squares on a screen. All faces and voices you guys should have seen. I think one forgot where they were for a minute. Still in their pyjamas, their bed, they were in it. I like that children can play in the sun. Being hit with a football though, not quite such fun. They're making the most of the wonderful weather. Creating some memories that they'll share forever. 
I'll tell you one thing that I'm happy about. The dog seems to make them keep taking him out. They walk him each day, whether sunny or raining. That makes the house empty and I'm not complaining. My lady human just keeps herself busy with puzzles and jigsaws. She did have a tizzy when I tried to help her with some of the bits. She ended up dropping them right where I sits. Well, my lady human is still going out, wearing a uniform. What's that all about? Perhaps she's a carer. She might drive a bus or maybe sell food for the humans and us. They call them key workers. They keep the world going. Sometimes they are helping without others knowing. We still have our water, the power and heating. The humans all go on the web for a meeting. Rubbish collected and post still arrives. Emergency workers still risking their lives. Our vets are still there if we need them at all. Whether injured or sick, they take care of us all. Hey Mimi, you're sitting too far away. Come here and join us. What do you say? I'm trying to socially distance from you. Two metres apart is what we're told to do. That rule's just for humans. Don't get in a muddle. Come over here, Mimi. We all need a cuddle. The end. Good night.